So now that I have my information here, I'm going to go to the top right and hit design. In the second window, this is going to show all the options I have for belt drives. So these are all the belt drives that work for the parameters I gave in the first window. In this window, I can choose between the product lines and sort them by hitting the button at the top. I can shoot sort from smallest to largest. So I can do this for belt length, the driver size or the number of teeth the, the driver pulley is, the number of teeth the driven pulley is, the driven RPM, the change in RPM from what I entered in for the nominal value. So zero means that I'm hitting the exact ratio or the exact output RPM that I'd like. I can sort by the ODR, which is the over design ratio, a 1.0 being a a drive that is exactly what I wanted it to be rated for. And above a 1.0 means that it's over designed, and below a 1.0 means it's under designed. I can choose between a relative a relative cost where a 1.0 is the cheapest drive, anything above it will be more expensive. And then we have center distance options. So center distance and a change in center distance. And then we can sort between belt pull and pounds, width in inches, noise in decibels, and frequency in hertz. So once I find a belt drive that I like, so let's say for example, I want a drive that is exactly 875 RPM, which is what I input in the first window. I can highlight it, and notice when I put my cursor over it, there's a note that pops up. These are drive application notes, which will also show up in the next window. So when I double click it, this brings up the final drive detail report. Notice on the right is the information that we provided the program when we first opened it for the first time. So this contains your name, company, address, phone number, etc. So if you don't want this to be on the drive detail report, then you'll have to edit that by going to the options menu in the first window. On the left, there's a space designated for information we can include for the customer. So we can hit the customer information box enter, and enter in customer information such as what the application name is, their name, contact information, and so forth. Below in the input box, this is all the information that we told the program to look for um, when looking for the belt drive. So it's going to contain the speed ratio that we were designing for, the load we gave it, service factor, the center distance we're looking for, and then any shaft diameter or shaft information we, provide, we provided the program, as well as which product lines to search for. Going down is our selected drive box, which contains all the information for the bell drive that's selected. So this has all the part numbers, um, horsepower ratings, the final RPM, the speed ratio, center distance, all the information that you want for this bell drive. And then below select drive is going to be your tension box, which gives all the tension information for the belt. So this is going to give you options in static tension, static belt pull, your rip strand deflection force and deflection distance, and then sonic tension meter readings. And then below your tension box is notes, which is gonna get it's gonna provide the application notes that you also saw when you put your cursor over the drive in the second window. So let's go back to the first window by hitting close all and try the same thing for a V belt drive. So I'm going to uncheck Polychain Carbon, close down Synchronous, then open up V-Belt. And let's say for this I'm going to choose a few different types of belts. So I want to design it with a 5VX, so I choose the 5VX box. And then let's say I also want to design with a BX. So we want to see all designs that fall within the parameters for a 5VX and a BX. I won't change any parameters, I'll just go over and hit design. And here we are. Here's all our options that the program found for 5VX belts and BX belts. And again, we can sort between the product lines, the belt lengths, 
the driver and driven shift diameters, the RPMs, the over design ratios, and so forth. So once we find a design we like, we double click it, and once again, here's the information for this belt drive. So before we had the polychain information, now we have the information for the BX belt drive that we chose with this specific speed ratios, horsepower ratings, belt poles, and then part numbers, as well as the tension information. So that's DesignFlex Pro at a glance. If you have any questions, you can always reach us at the, the Gates Engineering hotline at 303-744-5800, option 2, or at our email address at ptpasupport at gates.com. Thanks for watching.